walking around with James's furlong. Uh, this is one of the maize fields, one of the two maize fields that will be ploughed up in the next week or so and seeded with maize. But you can just see it sprayed off with Roundup about a week ago to kill the grass and uh, you can just see it starting to go a bit yellow. And probably out in here in another week if they haven't ploughed it by then it will be very yellow. It's died off. We don't use a lot of spray on the farm, try to keep that cut down, but something like um, killing the grass off with Roundup is probably one of the best things we can do to make sure we get a decent seed bed etc. Terry's just arrived here to start ploughing James's furlong. I think he's just setting up the plough now. That's a, a wheel he's got on there that's used when it's on the road so you don't get the thing bouncing around and the ploughshares going in the ground. But uh, it's a pretty impressive sort of play, really. One, two, three, four, five. Five furrow reversible. So he can go up the top of that field, and instead of going round and round like you would in an old play, um, you can just flip a button, that'll flip over, and he can come straight back down the place, the same spot. Let's have a look here. these mould boards, I'm not sure, that, that must be to break the soil up a bit, they used to be solid, these are called mould boards, and they've got slats in them now, so I presume when the soil goes through that it sort of crumbles rather than just being turned over. It's an impressive piece of kit, there we go, just lifting it up. Big track, oh look, turn it over, that's how it works, look, look at that. Flip straight over. I don't know whether he takes that wheel off or whether that just slots up into place somewhere. He's up in the cab working hydraulics. Got a little dog up there as well. Let's have a chat with Terry. Let's have a chat with Terry then. Can you tell us a little bit about this plough then? What is it exactly? Okay. It's a far fur reversible yeah. plough. Yeah. What, how, what are those, those mould boards have got sort of slats in them? What's all that about? This, that's just to make the construction a lot lighter. Oh right, so it doesn't... Save too much metal. Right, so it makes it... Because it's a pretty heavy beast, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So how long will it take you to plough this field then? Depends on the stones. Oh yeah, goodness, there's a lot of grass here. Yeah, there is a lot of grass. The spray hasn't really kicked in properly yet, well, has no, it? No, it, it's working and it will sort of work out. Yeah. It's loud as long as you don't play with the same day. Yeah. It's an impressive oh, bit I, of I, kit, I though. Up. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> you all laugh at me. That wheel, though, that, that's, was that a road wheel, is it? Or something? Yeah, you spin the road and you take the weight of the plough. Right. Oh, that stays on while you're ploughing? Yeah, that's your depth wheel. Oh right, I thought that was just like a road wheel so that it didn't whack no, on the ground. A, a combi wheel. Right. So that you've got a combination of um, you can use it for transport. Yeah. And also use it as a depth wheel because with a long plow like this, yeah. the back would just disappear. Right. You know, the tractor will hold the Yeah, of course. Yeah, There's a lot of weight there, isn't there? Yeah. I mean it's an amazing bit of kit compared what you think. This is called James's furlong, so a furlong is the length of an oxen can plough. Yeah. Do you think, out here, 400 years ago, someone was ploughing with an ox, probably like one furrow, taking, I mean, a few days. Well, they used to say with two horses, yeah. a man would plough an acre a day. Really? And he'd walk 20, just over 20 miles. And how long, how long would it take you to plough an acre then? Depending on conditions, but uh, less than an hour. Amazing, isn't it? Far less than an hour in good condition. Yeah. So see you in action in a minute then. Well, I don't know. I think it's pinning, and I don't know why. Because I Apparently, that tractor there is 155 horsepower, and you can imagine that 50 years ago there would have been one horsepower out here, probably one single furrow, or a couple of horses and a bloke, and before that it would have been oxen. And just the way technology's gone, it makes you wonder where you're going to go in 
another 50 or 100 years. Anyway, Terry is sort of just finishing getting it all set up and then we'll watch him take it away. Uh, I think the first few furrows aren't that deep and then after that it should crack on. And you can see it's, there's quite a lot of grass on here, it's not ideal, really the spray needs to sort of kill that off a bit quick, a bit more, but um, that'll bury okay. Here we go then. And he's got to get a line up. Let's better reverse back. Striking out. Doesn't take long to do a big strip. And here we are. You can see the five furrows. And he's turned it over, the grass more or less turned over, there's a few bits showing, but that's gone down what? Probably about I don't know, eight inches. And uh, He'll carry on doing this and the other field we've got to do and then uh, the cultivator will come in and break this down and then we'll be drilling this later on. But uh, we'll come back and see Terry in an hour or a couple of hours and see how he's got on.